Welcome back to all of you on this Thursday, February 15th, halfway through the month of February, meaning we are now halfway through Black History Month. And to celebrate, there's still so many events taking place all throughout town. And we are very happy to have our friend Sarah Thompson with us this morning to tell us about some of those events as part of our Black History Month feature sponsored by AARP of St. Louis. Sarah, always good to see good you. Good to see you. We have a lot of events yes. to get to today, which is fantastic. <laughs> Let's start with one happening at the Two Hills. At the Two Hills. What's going so, on there? Yeah, so we've kind of dedicated this sort of segment to the arts and black arts and celebration of that. So a great way to sort of the finale to Black History Month is seeing Ailey Two at the Two Hill Performing Arts Center. Ailey Two is a company founded by the uh, pioneering choreographer, African-American choreographer, Alvin Ailey, and he founded the company in 1974. So they are going, they are universally renowned. Uh, they are Alvin Ailey, American Dance Theater's second company. Mm -hmm. They tour all over the world, and so Dance St. Louis is presenting them at the Two Hill March 1st and 2nd and so you can see the iconic choreograph choreographic works uh, that the company is known for um, and it's two nights and there's a pre-show program as well so check that out it's a great way to sort of end and celebrate a Black History Month and it's the company's 50th anniversary on top of that and you still have two weeks to get tickets yep. so good news there next there is a show going on right now at the Black Rep what's yeah. happening there yeah so the Black Rep we wanted to we couldn't put if we're celebrating black arts we had to of course include the Black Rep uh, which is a wonderful, beloved uh, black, black arts institution that's been in St. Louis for, I think, 48 years mm -hmm. now. So it's part of their season right now. If Fly is running. This is a one-man show. It's a dramatic comedy that's running uh, by Joseph L. Edwards. This uh, uh, opened off-Broadway back in 1997, limited tours. And so here it is in St. Louis through uh, March 10th and something to check out um, by uh, playwright, director, and actor Joseph L. Edwards. We're so lucky in St. Louis to have our library system, and there are several events for all ages happening at the library. Oh, yeah. I mean, for Black History Month, the libraries really have done so much, and so we wanted to kind of plug a few that you can drop in and do some this weekend. So one, bear with me, because we're going to try to get through these. So the St. Louis Public Library at different branches, they have something called the St. Louis Icons Coloring Collage. So this is a dropping arts and crafts kind of activity where you can um, do coloring and a collage program of famous African-American figures from St. Louis, like Tina Turner and Maya Angelou. So the, that's at the Carpenter Bar in Kings Highway mm -hmm. and Central Express branches. This is, again, an arts and craft activities you can drop in and do. Um, for the St. Louis County Public Library, they're doing a Black History Celebration Film Festival this weekend, Friday and Saturday. And so that's uh, showcasing different uh, local filmmakers as well as films. And then something for the little ones, they have something called the Magic of Louis Armstrong. This is the St. Louis County Public Library at the Grand Glaze Branch and the Thornhill Branch. And so this is someone named Tommy Terrific, and he does this magic show that talks about Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. So those are some things to check out this weekend um, that you can do. Back downtown, City Museum. City Museum did a great job uh, for Black History Month. They have an art exhibition, and so this comes with your admission to City Museum. It's called Blessed by the Ancestors. It's curated by Brock Seals, and it celebrates the artistic talent of black artists from St. Louis. So this is running through March 3rd, and it's paintings and sculptures and mixed media, and again, something that comes along with your admission to City Museum, but a great celebration of local black artists and something to check out. And finally, you've gone through a lot of things, <laughs> but another way to celebrate is by visiting a local black history museum. Right, so last time I was here, we talked about the George B. Vashon mm -hmm. Museum of African American History. Wanted to do a quick plug for the Griot Museum of Black History. Uh, people might remember this from back in the day being the Black World History um, Wax Museum, uh, but you can go. They basically are dedicated to revealing, they say, the broad scope of black history and culture. And so they have life-size wax figures of Joseph Josephine Baker, you're seeing one of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Dred Scott, Miles Davis, Percy Green. They have uh, memorabilia, art, so many things, artifacts. And so they're open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. They even have an authentic slave cabin to there. Uh, so there's just a lot to see there. Again, for a lot of people who haven't been there, um, it's just something to check out, it's a place to check out that's uh, been around for a while. And really, I think they say it's uh, sort of the second of its kind in the country. So just wanted to be sure to plug that, especially this time time of year for Black History Month. We appreciate you. Yeah. She just went through a whole <laughs> slew of things that you can yes. do really over the next couple of weeks. Yes, and that's yes, what's yes. really nice too. Yes. Ample time left. You can find this segment on firstalert4.com slash great day following the show. And again, this special Black History Month feature is sponsored by AARP of St. Louis. For more information, visit aarp.org slash St. Louis. That Matt. was great, ladies. I think we covered them all. Well done. Thank you.